hello, hello. It is so nice to see you. And I can just tell that you have such great taste just by what you're wearing. I am honestly honored to have you come to my jewelry shop today. Now, by the little tidbit that you sent me about your personal style, what you're looking for, I have brought this box of selections. No, if you don't like any of it, you don't have to buy any of it. We have everything except earrings. I do have some recommendations of place to, places to get handmade earrings if that is more your interest. But we have everything else, everything you could want. So, shall we start looking? I think this necklace looks perfect and I think it really goes with your coloring. Look. Yeah, I think this one looks very good. Um, you can tell which gold or silver looks better on you by your vein on your wrist. If it's more of a blue or green, purple, whatever, just put it next to it and that's how you see if something is good for you and obviously if you just like something wear what you want don't care um what others think so i do think this um does look very good and i think this is kind of um timeless i think this could fit in with the 80s it could fit in with today um it's kind of like a tortoise shell if you can see and then with the gold so this is very a warm kind of necklace it's by Ann Taylor factory which is known to be very professional wear so I think you can wear this for something formal or something not so this is um, very versatile. It is a statement. So, if you, like how I have a lot of detailing around my neck area, I probably wouldn't wear something like this today. But you can wear it with something more plain. So, I'm going to leave that on the table for you. So, then this is something that I think would work more with if you're wearing something more like as I said like I'm wearing something with a lot of detail so if you're wearing something that you just want something little um but you still want to have um do be wearing jewelry this is more of a fabric kind of material and then you just have one little gem at the end and it's blue so if you have blue eyes this could definitely bring them out but even if you have a darker complexion it can just bring that attention to your neck area. So let's see. When you. Yeah, I think that's very nice. So this is from Urban Outfitters UK. Um, this came to us from London. So a very. It can fit with both American culture, UK culture. So I don't think you would have a problem with this when you travel. Now it does have silver detailing. Um, how the first had gold. This is silver. Silver is more your cup of tea, especially coming from the UK. So, this is a handcrafted, and this is if you are a fan of a certain um, movie um, universe, I don't know, then you will understand the reference. So, this is like clay material. And then again, it's just, this feels more rubbery. And then this has a silver detailing as well. But that's again, I think if you're wearing more of a statement top, that will go well. We do have some chokers if you would prefer something close to your neck. 
I have them in a variety of different styles. So I'll start with this one that's kind of like the um, triangle one from the UK. So this is a peace sign, and as you can see, it's two strings. So let's see. See, it's a choker. I apologize if any of this metal is cold and all that, but it does have rhinestones in it. I think this is more young looking, um, more youthful. And again, this is silver detailing versus gold. So I feel like we should look at more gold. Here's a gold and this is again a choker. And if you look at the, this is very detailed that most people aren't going to notice. So again, if you're wearing something like this, that would be fine. So as you can see, there's a cactus and the moon and the stars all in there. So it's very detailed up close, but from a distance, people are not going to notice that. So that is the downfall. They are going to be able to see obviously that you are wearing something on your neck, but not a detailed look unless you show them. So how about we look at some gemstones now? Crystals of Ume. So this is a very long piece here. I get it kind of untangled. And again, with some of these chokers, you can wear multiple pieces of jewelry with it. So here we go, very long. So I'm gonna kind of hold it up a little bit. So this has one big crystal hanging from it. I am not an expert on stones, so maybe if you are or you can go to a crystal shop and ask about this, of what kind of energy and vibes it all gives off, obviously cleanse it beforehand if you do believe in all of that kind of stuff. So it does, it's not sharp or anything, it's not going to injure you in any way. And it does have the gold detailing all the way through and then the big crystal at the bottom. So I even think if you're wearing a deep V like I am, it is something like this would be nice. And then a choker as well. So that there. So we have some turquoise now. This one is very southwestern. It's a silver chain. And at the middle, this is another long one, long. So you have your turquoise in the middle there, and then you see you have these two chains going down from the turquoise, and they have I don't think this is real animal bone, but it's supposed to look like animal bone. So this is very, I think, Native inspired, Native American inspired. Um, turquoise is very popular in the Southwest. Turquoise is said to keep like bad spirits and all away or bad creatures, monsters, whatever. So it is one of my favorites because that is kind of a fear of mine and that may sound silly, but I do get scared after reading like scary stories. <laughs> so I do love turquoise. So we have kind of a bolo here. Keeping with our turquoise theme. And this is very different than any of the others that we have tried so far. Okay, so this has a watch in the middle. It's not currently set. You have to um, pull that out and set it. And this is made in Japan. So it has gold detailing and it's leather versus metal or rubber than um, unlike any of the others we've seen. So this, as I said, it can be a bow or you can wrap it around your wrist and make them go through all that because it would take a while. But the stones are turquoise and you just snap it. As you can see, you would snap, snap it together. That came to us from Nashville, Tennessee, so very country, western again. 
So this I think would go good with a crystal necklace, but this is also rather long. It has some green stones, green beads throughout it, which is very unique and beautiful. And it's on a silver chain. So last, this is as basic as you can get, just a silver chain, the silver. You could put charms on it later on, but as of right now, if you bought it today, it's just the silver chain. So out of those, are you thinking of purchasing any of them? The big crystal, okay. The big crystal one. Put that in your bag. Yep, you don't have to pay for the bag. It's with your purchase, but it is, let me tell you one thing, so be careful with that. And then what else? The cactus. Yes, the little cactus choker. I think you could even pair those together. Even though the metal is different, I still think they could look nice together. So we're gonna set your bag right in there, but let's all these pieces of jewelry back. Okay. So as I said, I do have some rings, so I'm gonna get those for you. So our ring, and we do have some bracelets on here as well. So they are on a little cactus display, which isn't this so cute. It does look kind of messy, but as we take the pieces off, you will see what it looks like. So we do have these gold bracelets. Are you interested in? No, okay, that's fine. So here we have all of these, all different metals, gemstones, all very different and unique. And this is such a little cute thing to keep them on. So here is our first one. It is a turquoise one again. As you can tell, it is my favorite um, stone. And these are all inexpensive. Um, I don't think it'd be worth getting them sized unless you absolutely, absolutely love it. We don't do sizings here. You would have to go to a place that explicitly does that. So there are some at the mall. If you would like a list, I will be sure to give you that. So yes, we have this turquoise that is on a gold band. Then this one is silver. And it doesn't really have anything in the middle. It man just has a dual stone. We have this LA one, which I think this can even go on a film. It just has LA and it's kind of like in bones, but um, someone once pointed out that it kind of looks like Roman numerals. So I thought that was kind of funny and unique. So this one is, it has like hibiscus all the way around. Hibiscus, they're one of my favorite flowers. We have, this is more of a bronze uh, peace sign. And then this, this is obviously not real diamond or anything, but it's all these rhinestones and a ball. Okay, so which one was your favorite out of those? The first one, the turquoise. We'll put that aside then. We'll put the rest back on. Okay. So let's go to our second. I don't know what these are called, the arms of a cactus. I've had a fingers today since they have rings on them. So our first one has a little fox, it's gold.
This one has like a leaf and again it's a gold one. This is a really pretty one. I think it's very unique. Look how it has the stripes. Very unique and different than our last one from this on. It's a red stone. So the ruby is my red stone, personally. So if you know anybody with a red um, gemstone, red stone, that would be nice. So none of those. Okay. Okay, we can look at silver. The wind is picking up a lot on the side, um, but I guess this is part of spring. So this is another fox one. This is a silver ring. It kind of looks like a raccoon in a way. Do you think it's more of a raccoon or a fox? I'm, I'm not sure on that. And we have this pretty little heart, very dainty, not statement at all. Like this, I think is very much a statement. It is dainty. So I think these can almost go together. So this is a plain silver. This one, you get a little bit more detailing on. And then this one. Another like plain silver, and then one like that. So all of those. Okay, none of those. Okay, so for our last arm that sticks out before the main one, we had this really neat zigzag. This is very unique and interesting. We have another just like plain little circle. This one has again kind of gemstones. It kind of looks like a Mickey Mouse. <laughs> and then our last one is more of a funny one. It's a mustache. So you like the zigzag? Yep, you can definitely purchase all of these are available for purchase. So a zigzag. So then we have our middle, which are um, all statement. We have this green one. It just looks like it could have been handmade. I'm not for certain though. We have this big turquoise one. And this one is good for like all, you can change the fingers and all, because as you can see, it's um, elastic on there. And then last one, we have a little kitty. So the turquoise, okay, we got one of like different um, metals and I think that's very unique and nice. So I will put those in your bag for you. Yeah, you can send that right over to us. And thank you so much for coming to my Bohemian jewelry shop today. I enjoyed looking at all these pieces of jewelry with you. And you can definitely, definitely come back. We would love to have you over to us again.